Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we're going to talk about Unify's decision to end of life in January of 2021. Today is July 7th of 2020, so less than six months from now, the end of life, the video.ui.com, and basically extinguish the self-hosted video software from Unify. We're going to talk about some of the details about that, ramifications, what we're going to be doing about it, and hopefully uh, Unify changes their mind about that, and I'll get into the nuanced details, but first... If you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free, and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. So I did a video back on April first, 2019. No, it was not an April Fool's joke. It was uh, Unify and the fact that they were saying, hey, we're going to be focusing on this new product we're working on called Protect. And this new product we're working on is going to be a replacement for Unify Video. And now we have the announcement right here that starting January 1st, 2021, all available Unify Video resources will focus on Unify Protect. No software or hardware revisions, no customer support, no security updates, and very importantly right here highlighted, um, and of course, the no security updates really is important too, but all cloud operations will be shut down and videoui.com will no longer be accessible, which makes this a bigger deal. And why I say that is normally with the Unify video platform, you don't have to open up a port because you could just send the clients to video.ui.com and register the system there. It was a really simple way to do it. So they would always be able to get to the system inside or outside, no network port mapping. So you didn't have to worry about exposure. Now the only solution once this gets shut down in January 1st is going to be to move people uh, to opening up the port. Well, if there's no security updates, there's a flaw in the system. Now we have a bigger problem. And this is overall an aggravation uh, by quite a bit. And let me explain. So when Unify Video first came out, we were pretty excited. They had cameras that were good, easy to set up. Actually, one of the easiest ones to set up, standard PoE cameras. A little bit expensive, but technically they're kind of building in a license fee because you got the Unify Video software for free. And the Unify Video software only worked with the cameras, so it worked to sell more of their products, which I thought was a good idea from a you know marketing standpoint. Hey, we'll have these cameras that are um, you know good. We had uh, great luck with the cameras overall. The Unify video software was buggy at first, got better over time, but there was an exception. You always had to make sure you built a server capable of handling the number of cameras you wanted to throw at it. That was where I think Unify had a lot of trouble with support because people would use some old computer and say, this computer will be the system that uses uh, these cameras and runs the Unify video software and they would under spec it. Matter of fact, most of the support problems we had helping people with it was they would have a machine way too slow with way too many cameras that wasn't able to keep up. That was a, a real issue at first. And I realized this has probably pushed them over to going, hey, we can design and build our own hardware on Protect and solve these problems by selling people, you know, like the one I have behind me, the Unify Protect box that I reviewed recently and going, hey, we can sell these and they work with a predefined number of cameras and that would be my, the way forward. I, that's probably the internal thinking that's going on here. But... I like to say but a lot in this because there's always some exceptions. I kind of get where they might be going, but <laughs> there it is again. They don't have a clear path. And I say that as someone who got an email from someone I know at Ubiquity who said, hey, letting you know we're announcing this you know, end of life and you've done a lot of videos on this, Tom. And I said, was there a way you, you guys can consider your, uh, you know, extending at least for a couple more years, just the support for video.ui.com. So we don't leave a bunch of these systems we installed in, a, in, you know, kind of in a lurch here of not knowing what to do next. So here's where we're at, you know, video.ui.com when that goes away, the phone's going to start ringing for anyone that we sold to. So we've already had to start looking at, you know, migration path for any of the systems we sold and moving them over to just opening a port or moving them to Unify Protect. That means calling a client that, well, I sold something in 2018 to, and we didn't sell any of these in 2019 because early in 2019 is when they kind of made a decision they weren't going to do video.ui. And I didn't start selling to Protect. And even my review, while I think Protect's a neat system, 
the fact that I don't have a clear product path from them means it's really, really hard for me to say anything other than, hey, cool, home users, go into this with your eyes wide open, that I don't know when the end of life on this product is. Um, although you are hosting it yourself, it does require online registration that apparently can go away um, on a six or seven month notice. Now, granted, it is in 2019 when they announced they quit developing for Unified Video, but with no real alternative and no easy way around it, this is where we are here in 2020. Now, I, I feel with Unify, my overall feelings about the company, they have a massive amount of resource. You can look up their publicly traded, you can look up their market cap. I know market cap's not a direct correlation to the true value of a company. I'm not getting into marketing nuance here or financial nuance about them, but they're a you know company that has an over $10 billion market cap. That means they have some funds. I don't think it would be the end of the world if they uh, you know, extended this a little bit longer and would leave a different impression about the company. Now, their other product line that is the bread and butter of what they do, well, I don't think that's going anywhere. You know, the whole uh, system with the Unify platform, the Unify controller, and the self-hosted, I point back here as I see the switches and there's some uh, Wi-Fi access points, that's the true bread and butter. And I think that system allows them the money they make off of that because you know we sell a lot of it. I know so many people in the market that sell a lot of the Unify networking gear. I think that funds their ventures into, you know, trying to make a more complete ecosystem where they go, hey, we can capture this market. But those markets aren't as easy. And if you don't have firm dedication to it, well, there's a problem. So I don't think there's going to be any drastic change, not to mention with the Unify networking platform, you get to host the controller yourself on whatever hardware you want. And I think that's been the key to success. And I think they've tried that in other markets and found it very difficult. You know, it's not that I'm playing devil's advocate here. It's more about just trying to be realistic about where they are in the market and my thoughts overall on the company. That means, will we be selling any protect systems? And I've mentioned this before. Maybe some home users that want to buy them, but we're not directly selling these to businesses, especially without this clear pathing. Now, I will mention, because we're on this topic and this will come up, what are the alternatives? What have you been selling? And it's no secret, if you go on my channel, you're gonna see us talking about some Synology systems. And we have mentioned before that we have some very large commercial clients. This is very expensive, not aimed at all for small businesses, but like Tyco uh, owns Exact Vision. That is another one that we've looked at, uh, that we've used with um, you know, many of the school districts that we do work with. So there are a few other ones out there, but they're generally aimed at the really higher end market. They're gonna have subscription and recurring fees. This is where um, Unify, I think, had a great opportunity to market, but my guess is internally, I mean, companies don't do things arbitrarily. They do things because they're trying to make money at it. They're trying to make it a profitable business model. And my guess is they just decided that, you know, self-hosting the Unify video was not, and Unify Protect, they think they can make profitable, but without any clear, you know, solid announcements to give us confidence of where they're at, we're kind of left with the situation we're in. Um, so my hope is that they will change their mind on this. This is why I'm making a video. I have to decide, you know, how I want to do things going forward in terms of do I even delete the videos I have for the old Unified Video software, or does those views bring me and I change it all to suggest a completely different product line? Um, they're not something I know that I can really recommend anymore. And without someone giving me like an official statement from Ubiquity, we plan to guarantee we have support for X amount of years what are you going to do? It's like, it's hard to uh, recommend. And this is not just a Unify problem. This problem is much, much bigger than Unify, Ubiquity. All these companies have these kind of problems. They come out with products that either have lock-in licenses or have a cloud dashboard that makes everything work. And there is no alternative to it. This challenge comes in and there's a list of other companies you can call out in the commercial market, not just the consumer market. The consumer market is its own disaster. As you get somewhere in, I guess you could say these are the prosumer market or even the professional markets, this is an ongoing issue of support and how do you support some of these systems? Because if the companies say, I'm gonna abandon it only after a few years and you can only turn it on by activating it in their portal and their portal goes away or they just decide to drop that support for the product in their portal, it just turns off and now you got to buy another product. And us in the middle right here as a provider, I'm not the manufacturer of any of this hardware, I have to be very careful what I recommend to my clients because, well, it can hurt my brand reputation. I have to support it. So it's either going to hurt me in brand or it's going to hurt me financially because I have to just, you know, eat it and buy something uh, on behalf of the client to keep them happy. So it puts us in an awkward situation. So this is where we're at right now. And the final one I'll mention, because everyone hammers out the caps locks and gets your blue iris uh, lovers are going to comment on this video. I'm aware of blue iris. I don't see it as a commercially uh, 
sellable product. I think it's a neat one with a lot of features for home users, uh, but it's not one I recommend. We're still going with a lot of the Synology systems. They've always had great clear pathing of how they're doing things. Uh, we've talked directly with Synology and they have no problem supporting it. They don't have recurring license fees. So they check some of those other boxes that we're looking for. And a lot of small businesses are going, hey, we just need some cameras to watch the parking lot, uh, to watch these areas. And I don't want to have to pay for it over and over and over again. It's just cameras. There's certain things I understand, like you know, security, we are ongoing and active engagement and where there's lots of fees because there's updates and active development. Cameras are I want to put this on and I have it recorded for the next five years and every time there's a little thing going on in my parking lot, I want to be able just to play it back. Doesn't seem like it's too hard to do, but I think it's probably hard to make profitable um, and come up with a good business model around it. Do I hope Unified Protect works out for them? I sure do. Where does that leave us, like I said? Ah, fuzzy about recommending it. So hopefully they change their mind about this so it doesn't create the next level of drama, but we didn't sell an absolute ton of them. We have a handful of them and our plan really is just gonna be open up the ports. If a security problem comes up, we've already separated out the system to its own network. Uh, if a security problem comes up and we can't leave that port publicly exposed, our solution is just gonna to be to put it behind a VPN, which will be inconvenient. Our ultimate solution for some of them, or if we have to either eat it out of pocket or negotiate the cost for the customer, is swapping them out to protect systems. Because once you're vested in a bunch of cameras and you get them installed in your building, that's a big part of the expense. Um, so I see some path forward, but I don't see that if I'm starting from ground zero, I don't know that I can recommend them. Uh, and it's just their camera systems. I still like their other tools i think they don't have they have at least a clear path on that and their their product life cycle on their networking gear is substantially longer than it has been on their camera system so i'll leave that with you thanks oh and i'll leave a link to you can read the forum announcement yourself and feel free to read through the comments i'm not the only one who feels this way thanks and thank you for making it to the end of the video if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.